Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's session, we will start off with a new service, which is your CloudWatch. So we will look at an introduction to your CloudWatch. We'll understand what is CloudWatch, what it does and how we can make use of your CloudWatch. Now, this is again one of the very important service that we have in our AWS. Now, before I start off with the session, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So whenever we talk about monitoring in AWS, CloudWatch is a service that we have, right? So this is mainly your monitoring service. So, you know, we can use this to monitor your other AWS resources as well as applications that we're running on the AWS platform. So, you know, uh, maybe you want to monitor your EC2 instances or you want to monitor your RDS uh, instance or any other AWS resources, we can make use of your CloudWatch. In addition to that, we can also um, monitor any applications that we have deployed on the AWS platform. We can monitor that as well. And all of this can be done in real time. All right, so it is simply a monitoring service for us. So CloudWatch can be used to uh, collect the metrics, can be your, like, let's say in terms of your EC2 instance, the CPU utilization, the discretes, the discretes, all those metrics can be collected. And then we can also keep a track of those metrics, you know, like, let's say in the last seven days, what was the CPU utilization? So we can keep a track of it as well. Now, these metrics, these are simply your variables which can be used to measure your resources the you know how we are utilizing the resources or how the application is working uh, behaving in terms of resource utilization we can uh, do that so in addition to keeping track of your metrics we can also create dashboards uh, using this uh, metrics so it's basically a visualization so if you want to visualize your metrics about any custom applications that you're running on the AWS platform, we can create dashboards as well. So like, let's say the CPU utilization, you want to create a dashboard for that, we can do that. Or any applications that you're running and you want to create a dashboard for uh, those custom applications, we can do that also. So it is your monitoring service. Now, uh, we can also create your alarms. So alarms can be used to monitor a particular metric like let's say a cpu utilization and then we can take action on on that particular metric so let's say for example in this case we are monitoring the cpu utilization and if the cpu utilization reaches the threshold of 80 percentage or 90 percentage we can define some actions now the actions can be simple as sending out an email notification notifying the you know the team who is responsible for managing those resources like hey your you know for so and so instance the cpu utilization has breached the threshold or we can also take some um, uh, actions we can make some automatic changes like let's say auto scaling group launching new instances scaling up and scaling down we can do that also so that is where we can make use of your uh, cloudwatch alarms so for example, let's say we have your EC2 instance and we want to monitor your CPU usage, your discretes, your discrete. So this will be my uh, metrics. And then depending on, so we will be defining threshold. So let's say the CPU, C, CPU usage, the threshold might be set at 90 percentage. And whenever the threshold is breached, it, it goes to that threshold, we can define some action like launching new instances or if the CPU usage is below the threshold, terminate your instances. So those kind of actions can be defined by making use of your CloudWatch alarms. We can also use this metrics to stop your underused instances to save some money. So with your CloudWatch, essentially we get a system-wide vis visibility into the utilization of the resources, the performance of the application, and also the overall operational health uh, of the uh, resources that we have been using. So it is your monitoring. Uh, anything that you want to monitor, we can monitor by making use of your CloudWatch. Now, there are different, different ways that you can access your uh, CloudWatch. So one the common way is obviously using the Amazon CloudWatch console. Uh, we can also make use of your CloudWatch API. We can make use of your SDKs and also the AWS CLI command. So there are different, different ways that we can access this. Uh, we will be looking at how we can use the CloudWatch console. Basically, the AWS management console, uh, how we can uh, make use of that to uh, work with your CloudWatch. We will be looking at that in the upcoming sessions. 
So next, we are going to understand how your CloudWatch works. So how does it collect the metrics and then how we can create the dashboard. So how in the back end, what exactly happens? So, all right. So CloudWatch, it is simply a repository. All right. So this service, it gives us a repository option where we can start pushing all of our uh, uh, metrics. So let's say in terms of your EC2 instance, we can start pushing the metrics to this repository. It could be your CPU usage. It could be your discretes, your discretes. We can also push our custom metrics all right any uh, metrics that you want we can push those metrics as well so all of these metrics will go and sit in your cloudwatch repository which in this case will be here inside the cloudwatch service now using this repository we can calculate the statistics all right like you know calculating the cpu usage or calculating the disk rights discretes and then we can present it graphically you know, like um, creating dashboards, creating graphs, we can do that. So we can do it in the management console. We can also uh, use some statistics consumer, which will consume those statistics and then display that in, in, the, in, in, in terms of your dashboards. All right. So all these metrics are pushed to a repository. And then from there, we start calculating the statistics uh, and then we start pushing it in terms of your dashboard where we can visualize those metrics we can uh, uh, visualize the data and start understanding the um, uh, resources how they are running how they are behaving over a period of time in addition to this we can also configure your cloudwatch alarms which can be used to take some actions all right so like starting instances or terminating instances whenever the threshold or the criteria has met so for example we can uh, create alarms to send out an email notification by making use of the SNS service or we can also trigger the auto scaling groups to launch the instances on our behalf or terminate the instances on our behalf. So all of these things can be achieved by uh, making use of your CloudWatch. Okay. So once again, we have your AWS resources which will push the metrics to the CloudWatch repository and then from this CloudWatch repositories we can uh, create statistics and then we can display that in the AWS console itself or we can make use of any consumer third party consumers. In addition to that we can also utilize the CloudWatch alarm which can be used to take certain actions like let's say in this case your CPU usage. All right. So whenever it breaches the threshold we can take some actions. Um, it can be sending out a simple email notification notifying the uh, team responsible for it or taking some actions like launching new instances or terminating old instances. We can do that. So in the back end, that's how your uh, CloudWatch operates. So that's basically your introduction to uh, CloudWatch. So once again, CloudWatch is your monitoring service in AWS. So whenever we talk about monitoring your AWS resources or the applications on the AWS platform. CloudWatch is a service that we use and we can use this to monitor any of the AWS resources. We can also use this to capture your logs of the applications. All those things I will be covering in the upcoming sessions, but that's basically your introduction to CloudWatch. That's all I have for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.